guess why I chose it. Uh, you know that song better than I do. Why? I know it's Duke Special. Free Wheel. Oh, it's free got the word wheel, wheel in it again. Sorry, too, too obvious? No? Is, does it, not do you obvious think anyone's enough? guessed that we're in Laxey yet? I'm not sure. We're also doing that thing again where we dance while we're listening to the music and yeah. no one else can hear I the know. music. Silent it's our own discos. little personal silent disco. Yeah. I know. But anyway. We are at the Working Men's Institute this afternoon in Laxey. Uh, we're here until 3 p.m. and then we will be doing a, a podcast after the show as well. Uh, speaking now to Nigel Dobson from the Commissioners, from Garth Commissioners. Now, Nigel, how long have you been in this area? Uh, well, I was a, a, a London Commissioner originally some 14 years ago I joined and uh, Chairman of Garth for the first three years when the new authority was created. And what is it about this area that makes it so special? I think it's a beautiful green area, it's got a strong community spirit. Uh, uh, and it's just a lovely place to live. And one of the things that's happened recently is uh, you've had a, an association with Biosphere, haven't you? Yeah, the island went Biosphere uh, a, a little while back, as you know, uh, uh, and we as a local authority thought it would be nice if we actually signed up to the initiative rather than just do the stuff. Um, I have to say that we blame Laxey School uh, uh, because they've been badgering us over the last uh, 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 year or two or three on various environmental projects, and we're more than happy to have got involved with them on it. It does seem very much like, and we will be speaking to uh, to some of the young people from the school in a moment, but it seems very much like Lax is quite progressive on a lot of issues. Yeah, I like to think so, so certainly on the biosphere stake. Uh, I, I think we were the first authority on the island uh, to assist the local community with uh, the, 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 the reusable water at refills at all, all the retail outlets through, throughout Laxey, which the, the retailers have uh, all cooperated with. Um, we work with beach buddies or the school works with beach buddies for uh, beach cleaning. We as an authority, because the kids were keen on doing it, we went out and bought them a load of lit litter pickers and a compost thing. Uh, and, and, and yeah, so we try to work with, with, with the other organisations within the community to get things done. And it's the perfect community for it really, isn't it? Because it is so beautiful here. You've got everything from the glens right down to the beach. So you've got every sort of aspect of, of, of nature in a way. And uh, there is something else that's happening soon to do with uh, the glens and, and native species. Yeah, again, uh, I, I, I have to say that we're being bullied by Laxey School again. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, they've come up with an idea that perhaps we uh, organise a competition next year. Uh, it's very early stages, but we're, we're, we're certainly going to give it a serious consideration. Uh, where in, in Laxey Valley Gardens, for instance, we, we, we do planting to encourage hedgehogs and bees and birds uh, uh, indi with indigenous species and more of a, 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 a wild type of feel uh, and encourage residents to do something like that in their gardens and have a competition to see which is the most nature-friendly garden on, uh, in the area and that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that will happen next year. Fantastic. Well, we've been talking a lot about uh, the children and how they have been really leading a lot of these initiatives. So thank you so much to Head Teacher Max Kelly who's come down here, especially this afternoon. He's running away from the microphone. I can see Mr Kelly sort of just now. skulking around. <laughs> you can come over here. You're but in the spotlight but too. But you know what? It's because he is very aware that his pupils here a lot of what's going on. We'll talk to them in just a second, but you must be very proud of them, Mr Kelly. Very proud indeed, and you're right, they are the driving force, and they'll tell you all that you need to know about what they've been up to. So oh, we, he's good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Passing, Passing the on. book. Uh, so we've got some year six pupils here. Let's just go around and find out what your names are. Um, my name's Chuck. My name is Isla. My name is Naomi. My name's Greya. My name is Thomas. Hi, my name's Nathan. Right, so lovely of you all to be here, but tell us first of all, Jack, just... We've heard from uh, Mr Dobson there and the commissioners about the fact that Laxey School is really passionate about protecting the environment and, and looking after the climate. Yes, we are, um, because we've done lots of cleans. We went down to the Glen, we found so much rubbish and we've just been um, really compassionate and stuff about stopping um, atrocities to happen. So what sort of things have you done? We've heard about the, the beach cleanups, but there's been a lot of letter writing as well. Uh, yes, we wrote letters to lots of companies who use plastic, straws or packaging, and we've got some of them to change um, their straws. We've got McDonald's to change their straws to paper ones, so we're not hurting the environment as much. And why is it so important for you all to be involved in this way, would you say? I would say it's important for our futures and for wildlife out there but also I don't think we could have done this without um, Mr Kelly helping us. 
He is very much, a, again, a driving force here, but uh, he doesn't want us to speak to him. He wants us to speak to the students. So tell us a bit about some of the... the you've been involved in some conferences recently. Tell us about Bright Futures. Well, um, us as a school and other schools around the island went to the... Um, I, think, I don't know how to pronounce this, like the Parliament of Government Building um, in Douglas. And um, uh, uh, tons of like, people were there um, and we got to like learn some stuff about it. And we are just talking about how we're doing well as, in, like, as a school and how we're like reducing our plastic. And have you noticed then, because it does seem that this has been now taken on by a lot of uh, young people and a lot of students across the island as well. So uh, you must be quite proud of yourselves for doing this. What does it feel like to be involved in all of this? Well, it just feels so amazing because we're just fueling like people just globally, like people in Thailand was doing a beach clean just because we've done it on our small little island. And if you wanted to give a message to people listening about how important it is that they follow your lead, what would that message be? Um, well, we, well, ov obviously we find it really important because of if we don't like get rid of plastic, obviously s stuff is going to happen in the future, and we don't want that to happen. So we would like people to like listen to us before something terrible happens. Do you know what? I am just so grateful that we've got people like this in the next generation who are spearheading things at such a young age. Do you know what? I can't believe how confident, how mature they are. And when it comes down to it, Mr Kelly, you know, the future is in their hands and it seems like it's going to be quite a bright one in the hands of this lot. They're a great bunch and their work, the work that they've done has been recognised internationally. We've had a school in Thailand, haven't we? We've got in touch and said, oh, we'd like to do what what you've been doing in Lapsi. We've been recognised with a shortlisting for a national award, so we're going off to London next week, this time next week, to find out how we've, we've done in that. And that's all for the sustainability and eco work that this bunch and everyone back at Lapsi School have been doing, so it's been great. So we're well, very proud. Do keep us posted on how they get on of with course. that. All the very best to you guys. Thank you so much for coming down. They've probably got some schoolwork to do, but I think I think they've maybe earned a bit of time off this so. afternoon. They've I done very well. Thank you so, so much for being with us. Well done, everybody. We are live from the Laxey Working Men's Institute. If you head to uh, the Manx Radio Facebook page, lots of video on there. Our Sarah Hendy is Hello, uh, doing Sarah. a sterling <laughs> job there. But we'll just wander down here because there's quite a famous face sitting on the there stage. There is quite a famous face sitting on the stage I like we, don't, we don't mean all Matty I know uh, it's actual Mira Royal I don't know a week ago she was talking live on the telephone to, to Mark Radcliffe on actual BBC Radio 2 and now she's here with us she's oh, made it lucky girl <laughs> I wouldn't say I've made it but it was very 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 exciting just tell us about what you were talking to him about uh, well uh, it was very very like Com like just a very informal conversation really he was asking me about um, what I've been up to this year and uh, the Kendall weekend the, for the BBC Folk Awards um, I was telling him about that and all the things we got up to and how fun it was it was nice to speak to him yeah. oh there those Folk Awards you did alright there didn't you no, I didn't do too bad <laughs> honestly didn't expect to, didn't expect to do as you know as well as I did it was just completely on the off chance that I might get in I'll send something off and um, and <laughs> somehow I ended up winning it. I think you were encouraged by your mum, weren't you, who yeah, said, you right. might as well do it, yeah. you know, which yeah. is lovely. And I have to say, we were talking about you recently because I think the fact that you have achieved what you've achieved has very much helped to put the Isle of Man back on the map, hasn't oh, it? Because a lot of people yeah. do seem to be asking now about the island that maybe wouldn't have done previously. Yeah, I think um, as well, because there was Isla's in the, she was in the BBC Awards as well with me and... Um, so uh, and and Imar and uh, Imar and Alao as well. Yeah, they were they were represented at the uh, they were at the folk awards. So there was uh, like a really big sort of uh, Isle of Man uh, like community that's that was there up, up against all the Scottish and Irish na nation. And what has it meant for you since you've won that award? How have things changed for you? Uh, I, I get asked to play um, a lot more now, um, and also compose a lot. I've been quite a lot of uh, uh, like film composition projects this year and that's been um, really amazing to get that experience. Because you are passionate about film aren't you and we, we were talking before about uh, Visit Laxey Valley and yeah. I believe you've written a piece especially for that film. I did, I, um, it was um, a uh, video which told the story of uh, a miner called uh, Captain Rowe and he's talking about uh, ha what happened and things and I wrote a, uh, a piece of music to go behind his talk and it was really good fun actually yeah and you know how you get asked to play at a lot of places <laughs> and you know how you're here now and I happen to notice oh, your look, heart, there's a heart is just behind <laughs> us uh, would you be able to play something for us now of course I can yeah I'll, I'll give you a, a, a wee uh, 
ex experts from um, uh, Nataliana, which is uh, written by Deborah Henson Conant, who's an American harpist. And yeah. Wonderful, thank you. You go and you know, get yourself settled. The thing about what Mira does, which comes across every time she plays, is she's not just a trad or folk harpist. She interprets so many different styles of music with what she does. And uh, that's a perfect example of what she's going to play for us now. We're very fortunate to have Mira here. Uh, just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, we'll tell the room, Mira Royal is now going to play something on the harp for us in case you would like to, to enjoy that. Mira, take it away, please. Ridiculously talented. Seriously, she deserves all of the accolades. Mira Royal, thank you so much for doing that for us. We are live from the Laxey Working Men's Institute. We're going to be talking to some of the people who use this building just after this. <laughs> 